G'day everyone. This is a video that I wasn't really planning on because I'm going to a mate's place for the 50th and um, I've broken down. Started making some pretty bad noise. Um, I do not know what it is at all. So I'm chilling here along Tapley's Hill Road, and um, yeah, it sounds pretty bad. Um, yeah, it sounds like a bit of a knock. Fortunately, but um, yeah, I have got Jared coming now. He's going to bring my Ute. And maybe we'll have to give it a tow job or something like that. See what's going on. But yeah, can't even limp it to a server or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a start now and you can have a quick hear on what it's doing. Yeah, doesn't sound real flash, eh? So, while I wait for Jared, I figured I might as well try and pull her off and cover off. But, in my toolbox, I don't have an Allen key, but I managed to get this flat blade screwdriver if I press on it hard enough, it does sort of uh, get in to the alley key bolt enough from these rocket covers. So, uh, yeah, I'll pull the rock cover off while I wait and see what I find. I managed to get all the Allen keys, pliers, and screwdrivers. Things you gotta do, eh? I'll give you guys a look. So, being a solid cam, you're going to have a couple that are loose, obviously that's loaded, a little bit loaded, loose, loose, they're not excessive, bloody hot, I'll tell you that much, but um, yeah, sound like the noise is coming from this side a bit, but I was hoping maybe just, yeah, maybe a rock could come loose or something like that. And um, it was just the exhaust valve wasn't opening or something, but sounded a little bit more on the right hand side, to be honest. No idea. We're trying to get this other side off as well. And being the left hand side, the head's a little bit closer to the firewall. Just gonna get my pliers in. So I modified this flat blade screwdriver. And what I was able to do was snip the corners off. And then it fit in there just enough to turn it. It was a little bit too big. I'd add some crappy side cutters and this crappy bloody screwdriver and um, yeah Give the old snip snip trick and we're in business I can say I've never done this before but I found the bloody culprit snap rocker arm not real happy with that. The jam nut's still tight, which is good. But um, yeah, that's um, that's cactus that one. 
Dragon Rocker. Luckily, I've got some spare rockers at home. So I just rang Jared, he hadn't left yet. He's going to pick up another rocker arm, feel the gauges, and I'll place that out here. Like I said, got no idea, but it did sound like what I thought it was. It was a bit of an exhaust chuff. Um, it just does sound like a bang sometimes. Some people have it, um, exhaust manifold leaks and think that it's a metallic y knock 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 sound, but yeah, it can be an exhaust chuff. Basically, yeah, just the compression of the air coming out. So that is the exhaust valve there. Um, so yeah, put another rocker arm on it and bloody send it. While I'm moving, it's not our plan to be. I had um, Graham Newbury and uh, one of the other Coop guys there on a cruise and um, they stopped by. So yeah, I'm probably going to go on the Coop cruise but with the Coop on the trailer. Say g'day. But um, yeah, not real happy but that's cars isn't it? So, I was aiming to go to Gawler today, but obviously broke down. Was gonna miss out on a coupe cruise, but while we were loading the trailer, had a couple of the coupe guys pull over and go past, beat their horns. So, I'm gonna rock up to the coupe cruise now with the old girl on the trailer, and um, I suppose it can be a trailer queen for the afternoon. And then they all are over there. now just taking off the trailer yeah um, because of my driveway then on the slope the cars down forward um, which means yeah trying to get it off the trailer it's a bit too high at the arse end so taking the coil lead off and gonna try and bump it um, with the starter to see if it gets off this trailer yeah I've got the ramps off at the back as well so yeah just do, do something something to see if it works but Flat battery. Oh, oh jumper packs on. Had flat battery. Thank you, Jared. And it works. So, I've had some tea. Um, sitting on the couch watching TV. It's about 11.30 at night now. And, yeah, haven't bought anything apart on the car because by the time I got home it was pretty late. But, um, yeah, just thinking of what's gone wrong. So, um, I'm going to start getting into it. Um, quietly, hopefully, and um, yeah, see what I can find on this bloody engine. <laughs> well, after a restless sleep, um, Jared's come around, give us a hand, pulled. Sawing head off, and thought we we're going to find um, some valves that hit the head, but it should have been that one. And there's no contact on the piston.
that's just a bit of carbon that's flaked off, but yeah. So, don't know. I have heard of the rockers breaking before. Um, I actually bought these rockers um, from a guy who did dyno time on them. Dyno time only. Um, and the reason why he got rid of them is because one broke for him on the on the dyno as well. So maybe just a crappy batch of rockers. Um, yeah, dunno, really, because it's nothing really to explain of why that rocker arm broke. But, um, so yeah, I'll probably end up going to yank this engine anyway and give it a freshen up, an overhaul. Um, and yeah, just replace everything in it, new bearings, new rings and stuff like that anyway, just to be on the safe side and yeah, see what we do with it then I reckon. Right, I've had a pretty long think and trying to work out why this has happened. And I'm going to come to the conclusion and say it, it was a parts failure. Um, reasons for this to happen, a couple of various ones, you get coil bind, doesn't have that. You can have a look at this photo here of um, other springs with the rocker at full lift. And you can see that there's still plenty of clearance there. Um, I'm not even revving this out to the valve float um, area. I'm pretty sure on the cam card they say you can get to valve float 7,200 7, RPM. Um, the chip I've got in this is 6.5 because I was making peak horsepower at 6.3, I'm pretty sure it was, 6.3, 6.2 or something like that. So just a little bit over um, peak horsepower. Uh, I'll put the chip in for. Um, so yeah, I, by no means I'll think of over this at all. Um, my push rod lengths were all killer. Um, got Had a look at the valves, got great contact on the valves um, tips as well, which I'm really happy with. Um, and the other one was pissing the valve contact, um, which I haven't had. Um, as I showed earlier in the video that yeah, there was no contact on that piston at all and the valves they were, they were clean as a whistle so Yeah, gonna throw this one down to just good old parts failure unfortunately um, Culprit here so Yeah, I'll um, Gonna still pull the engine out give it a full rebuild new bearings new seals um, definitely new rockers full set and Yeah, just Give it a give it a freshen up make sure everything's all happy days in it anyway and um yeah probably focus on um one of the other engines that i've had for quite some years now which is never built um it's just been sitting there waiting for the day for me to finally have i suppose the funds behind it and that but um i think this is a pretty good excuse to to start doing it so yeah i'll yank the other engine trans out and um, build it all up and probably sell that off um so if anyone wants a nice uh Nice Clevo or a uh, top loader. For, um, yeah, gonna have one for sale. Um, but yeah, cars in the naughty corner and on the outside. Um, but yeah, I've got a good good setup here. So forged scat crank, forged bullet pistons, and then you can just see there as well. I've got um, some H beam comp star. Um, rods as well, so all that's a forged rotating assembly to make a to make a 427 um, combo. So that'll go on my Dart SHP block, which I'm pretty keen to do. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, yeah, like I said, we yank this one out um, and build that one up again. So junk. It happens. But yeah, anyway. Thanks very much, guys, for watching again. Um, I've still got plenty of other things going on um, at the moment as well. It's one reason why I wasn't real keen um, once I saw this breakage to start throwing more stuff on my plate. But, um, yeah, I've got some other interior mods and stuff like that that'll do as well, plus the, the other F-Truck. But, um, yeah, that'll, that'll come through pretty soon, guys. So keep tuned for then, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.